What's up, everybody? Welcome to Ravenel Ford. I'm Chad, your host with Charleston Car Videos on YouTube. Today, we're going to be looking at the 2017 F350 Lariat with FX4 off-road package. And uh, this will be my version of a walk-around video on this truck for you. What I'll do is I'll go around the truck, check out some of the features, point out some of the things I think are really kind of nice about it, and, uh, and most importantly, go over the pricing structure of the truck, which we'll do that kind of towards the beginning of the video. So uh, again, I always let you know the pricing and why Ravenel Ford has some of the best pricing out there on F-350s. And really, you know, a lot of dealers may price their vehicles out somewhat similar to what we're doing here, but they, do, they don't usually have those big orange stickers on the window and they're not usually always being up front on the pricing. So that's how it makes it a little bit easier for our customers when they're shopping with us. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling. First off, F-350, I mean, super duty. Wow, wait, look at the front end on this truck. Very big, really bold, kind of stands out. Out. and uh, I always like to show you that logo there with that palmetto blue back there for South Carolina man that is nice right look at that wow it's big I mean it's huge it's got to be 12 inches in diameter it's massive size on the logo so you know it's a Ford coming down the road the same with the headlights they're big oh yeah they're big they almost take up the whole front end on the truck you got those nice looking fogs down in the bottom bumper there and uh, all the chrome really does look nice with the uh, with the gunmetal color on the truck and do we got a bunch of Ford F-350s on ground out here today we sure do this one sits up a little high and so I like like that and got a little nice suspension going on right up under here as you can see with those bright red shocks and those big black springs and then you do have your Michelin tires the LTX ATs and uh, they're a 275 65 series tire with a 20 inch chrome wheel which looks good wow then you got the chrome boards going down the sides there the massive power stroke turbo diesel 6.7 liter under the hood I mean, Ford does a lot of cool stuff when they talk about putting the logos and things on the truck so you can kind of know exactly what's going on. Um, the mirrors do extend out in case you got a fifth wheel on the back so you can see exactly what's going on way back there in the back. A massive windshield on the truck. And uh, still got your traditional <laughs> AM, FM antenna, right? And then you got your XM satellite radio antenna up on the top right up there, which is kind of cool. What's that crow doing up there? Look like he just got him a little something to eat. Hold on real quick. Let's take a look. What are y'all doing up there? Crows and birds love making nests on top of lights. But enough of that. Let's get back to the truck. <laughs> Anyways, full four-door in size, looking good. Let's get on with it and take a look at this price here. So how we do at Ravenel Ford? $68,055 is uh, the MSRP. There is suggested retail on the truck. $38,052 uh, $38 is the discount. $64,000. 203 that's 98 over invoice a thousand dollar rebate easy price is 63 203 so you can see that's a substantial discount there 750 dollars more you get to save if you finance a ford motor credit no deal add-ons such as rust proofing paint sealing undercoating closing dog feeds etc such items are used to mislead customers giving more markup to sell and dealer beware that is definitely the truth okay so like i tell y'all if y'all live in canada california north carolina florida tennessee wherever you live at if you know you're not going to necessarily buy a truck from us at Ravenel Ford because we're too far away, use the video to save yourself some money. Just fast forward up while you're sitting in a dealership say, hey, this is what they're doing in South Carolina. Why can't you do this? And either they're going to say yay or nay if they can do it, okay? If they can't do it, they're going to give you a reason why they can't do it. Maybe that's true why they can't do it. Maybe that's false. Maybe they just don't want to do that price. But use the video for your, uh, for your own good. If you live near here, come on down to Ravenel Ford and do some business with us. So, you know, this is also I want to talk about real quickly here is this uh, no dealer add-ons you may say well what are dealer add-ons okay they're accessories and things like that a lot of times car dealerships will have another little sticker there and it says dealer add-ons and it might add up to two grand to three thousand dollars and those add-ons may be you know uh, the paint sealants or the, the first place finish wax you know or the paint protectant or the mud flaps and all that and it added up to be all this money when the dealer really only had to spend three four five hundred dollars on all that stuff and they just profited fifteen to two thousand dollars okay we don't do that at Ravenel Ford why don't we do it well first of all who wants to go inside the dealership negotiate and try to haggle off the price of that okay then they take it to the shop drop it off in the shop to take these things off that you didn't want and that's two hours and you're like man I've been at this dang dealership all day long now you're not gonna do that at Ravenel Ford but you've been there at that dealership all day long then they wonder why you give them a bad review 
that's why, okay? So if you want accessories, just ask the parts department or the sales guy to add it on, you know, and get what you want, not what you got already on it. All right, there's the back of the truck looking good. Of course, it's gonna have a tow package back there that comes included with it from the manufacturer. Another big, massive Ford logo. Two cameras in the back, one here, one here. One of these cameras is gonna look straight down so you can pull right up to the tow, tow hitch and hook your boat or, or a trailer on, okay? The other camera's gonna give you a wide angle view, which I think that's this camera and that one shoots down. But anyways, that's gonna give you a wide angle view kind of a fisheye a little bit so you can see everything going on on the side of you now this is nice feature I want to point out you do got remote start so what you do is you have the vehicle lock hit this twice oh that diesel engines cranked up okay now as long as the vehicle is unlocked now check that out did you see that little light cut on just now that's pretty sweet I like it as long as vehicles unlocked you can do that right there Already got your spray and bed liner in the back. Already got the hookups for a fifth wheel. So you got all that going on. Now you're wondering, how do I get up in the back of this super tall F-350? I mean, it's up off the ground. Well, Ford's thought about that, folks. Hit that button there. This comes out. Okay. You got a little grip tape on there for your, for your shoes. Grab this, pull this out. And look, it's already all locked in place, and I'm gonna do this with a camera in hand, okay? So you're gonna get your croc right up on there, grab a hold of that, and come up, okay? Now we're in the back of the truck. Oh, look at that one. Ooh, that's pretty, that's a platinum FX4 F-150. Wow, it's pretty. But that's how you get in the back, just like so, and man, are we sitting up high off the ground. Nice and tall right man this is a nice view up here I've seen some of these trucks have a camera right up in here shooting down into the back I'm not sure why this one doesn't have that but I have seen that before even got some nice lighting back here on both sides so you can see what's going on at nighttime another power outlet over there so anyways that's that let's go ahead and hop back down that's solid folks I mean I weigh about 210 pounds so that's holding me pretty good and if you want to put it back in, just, just do like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Let's see what's going on here. There's got to be a little button you push. Well, what's going on here? All right, there we go. I don't know, there's a little button under there you gotta push up and make that go back in. Anyway, it's still not too difficult. Be easier with one, two hands. But still doing it with one, okay? So there's that. Now like I said earlier, if the truck is locked, like I just locked it, watch this. It's not gonna open, okay? Unlock it, that light cuts back on, which is cool. And it's unlocked, okay? So pretty sweet. Man, that little, those little LED lights probably are great at nighttime to be able to see exactly what's going on back here. Not bad. And then you got your reverse lights, so that's gonna help out too on these massive tail lights. FX4 badge right there. Let's go ahead and move into the inside. Again, I will tell you before we go, you know, you got a back window that opens and closes so you can throw that chocolate lab a bone, okay? And uh, a minute ago, you did see some lights cut on up there so you can see exactly what was going on in the back of the, the truck. So there might be a camera back there that I'm not finding or seeing. Woo wee, this is where it gets fun, folks, is inside the truck. I'm liking the uh, the wood trim there, not real wood, but it's got a nice look to it. All these power options here, power mirrors, power windows, uh, power door locks, memory seats, lots of cubby hole space, throw the bottle of water right there, power seats, power lumbar, real leather interior. This is no pleather, this is no leatherette, okay? You go and buy a BMW and they're gonna give you a leatherette unless you pay, you know, 60, 70 grand. And uh, yeah, you're getting real leather in your truck, which is really nice. It's, de it's definitely uh, perforated with the holes and lets it breathe and stay cooler, right? Got these nice rubber mats in here that say Super Duty on it. Let's go ahead and hop in. Oh, I'm already feeling the uh, enjoyment of sitting in this seat. Go ahead and cut the cooled seat on. 
before we do that though. So once it's remote started, put that there. Let's see how we get this thing. Oh, no smart key on this particular one. Put the key in right there. Put on the brake. Just turn the key. Ford has got some of the coolest graphics on the inside of their truck with this when these screens cut on, as you could see a little bit there a minute ago when that big um, you know rocket said tough and all that you know blew around in there. That was pretty cool. Um, I would love to film one of these at nighttime, but like I said, you know, I know some of y'all are watching night videos that I do. Um, these dealerships close before it even gets dark, so they close around seven o'clock out here. Um, we'll get it, we'll have to do that when uh, when the time changes again later in the year after summer. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, gauges look great, everything's legible. Huge, massive LCD screen there, looks good. Leather wrapped steering wheel, leather even wraps up onto the dash, which looks kind of cool. And uh, Sony stereo system. The fans definitely blow hard right when you get in to cool you off. And uh, very nice. Uh, Four-wheel drive brake gain here. Two USB ports right there. Used to have Microsoft Sync. Now it's just Sync, okay? Ford gave Microsoft the boot and said, we'll do it ourselves, right? Good job, Ford. Big cup holders right here. Place to throw things at. I like all the space you have. The cooled seats, the heated seats. Let's look at the backup cameras real quickly here. Still got this nice little uh, column shifter here to just put it in reverse. And then there's your camera. And uh, some of these trucks have a button up here with a, with a camera logo on it. I'm not seeing that on this particular one. So I think this is pretty much the view you're getting. Um, there's a plus sign there. There's the down view like we talked about earlier. So this truck's just got two camera views on it. Again, some of the other ones, if you look at my Ford videos of these new trucks, they have more cameras. So not bad. Put it back in drive. Rear park aid was on. Got all that. 12 volt outlet, 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet over here, which is great for charging up cameras and gear and stuff like that. So that's good. Good stuff. I love these big, that, that's nice. I mean, that's really nice. I like that. Um, up top, Ford's not going to leave out a pair of sunglass holders. They know guys and girls want to throw those Maui gems in there, or those Ray-Bans or Oakleys. Um, interior lighting, let's take a look at it. That does the back window. Um, it is LED, as you can see right there. So again, I've noticed a lot of car brands out there, they're doing LED headlights, but they're not adding LEDs on the interior. Ford's definitely doing that. Now, did they put LEDs in these? I doubt it. Nope, they didn't, okay? But um, anyways, nice big thing there. So beautiful truck at Ravenel Ford. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Nice and soft and big. You can even lock that thing. If you got a nine millimeter sitting in there and then you got another power outlet down there as well. So good stuff, super duty. Let's see, what do we got? I see a button over here. What does that do? Oh, opens up, got a little storage compartment. More storage right there, pretty sweet. Let's take a look in the back real quick before we end this video. Roomy in the back. Lots of headroom, more LED lighting up top. Even got a little spot to throw your iPad and tablet. Power outlet and another 110, 400 watt max outlet. Another power, oh wait, one 12 volt there. 110, 400 watts out outlet here for the kids or for whatever. And then two USB ports right there, sweet. Rubber mats, carpeted mats. These seats fold up. As you can see over there. This is nice. I like how they have not sacrificed resting your arm here for cup holders. I like that much better. Just my opinion, what do y'all think? Not bad, so there's a lever under here. And look at all that room you have in the back with the seats up. So you're not just having to sacrifice loading things in and out in the F-350. And it's comfortable too, beautiful truck, wow. So that's your F-350 at Ravenel Ford. Thanks for watching the video. We got a bunch of them on ground. If you're interested in buying an F-350, F-250, F-150, come on down and see us again. The pricing's great. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Send me some comments and give me your opinion of the new F-350 for 2017. We'll see you soon. I'm Chad Dobier signing out. We'll see you then.